Hey, Simon here. Today we will uh, check out camera, uh, yeah, getting camera data like the position or vector thanks to um, Defray and uh, particular and especially Jack Daw for uh, showing me how this works. Um, so the first uh, trick comes from particle. So you can just add, um, okay, we, we want for example to set um, the particle position to the camera position. M makes maybe not too much sense, but it's a good example. And this is very easy, you don't need much for it. You just set the particle position, yeah? And then you can here, when, uh, yeah? You can just type camera, and then you get the camera return property. And in there you have a drop down, and then you can um, select the position. Um, come on, the, oh, it's very slow. Uh, the posi come on. position, forward vector, up vector, and so on. Uh, it says it's experimental, and also you get now an um, error, and this is because it needs to be a GPU computed sim. And when it is GPU, then the error will go away. Um, you might get an error that you need fixed bounds activated. Uh, I had it already, but yeah, you ju just need to fix uh, check this. And here you can already see, if we pause our particle system now, uh, and they go a little bit backward, then you see that the particles are always set to the camera position. So that's uh, working. And another way is uh, in the scratch pad. You can do the same in the scratch pad. And let me do this. Come on. So I make a new scratch pad. Okay. And here you need to add a new module input. Yeah. Uh, come on. Du, du, du. It's all a bit slow here. But so a uh, new module input, and this is a camera query. Boop. And now this m must go in here. Uh, here. Okay, so, and from here you can drag this out and then type get camera properties. Um, uh, I use this one, which is a bit weird because it's called CPU GPU, but also when you add just this to your particle, uh, particle system, you will also get this error message, oh, it must be a GPU particle system. But it says here it should be work with CPU as well, but who knows. Okay, and now we have our um, forward vector, for example. And what we can do, uh, for example, we add a little float. Oop. We call it speed. Add this here as well. Oop. And then multiply the forward vector with this float. And then uh, set this to the velocity. Uh, so. Oop. Okay, and now we can move the um, the particles away or toward the camera. For example, it's just a little example, but it is, uh, yeah, it's nice. And uh, here, if we look at the particles now, okay, now they're just falling, but if we say this to 500, we should, oh yeah, see, they, they are always going away from the camera. Maybe we can make minus, minus thousands, and then they should always go toward the camera now. So that's, uh, let me pause just for, yeah, now we see how they uh, go to the camera and now we can make it like so that they go away from the camera. Yeah, okay, that's uh, just a little example. Now you know how to query the camera position or vector, which can be very useful. Bye-bye. Um,